Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 32. This is a series where every single Friday I will show you two proven and profitable products. I'll also show you where you can source these products from. I'll also show you how to sell these products. So once you've finished watching these products, essentially you'll have every step you need to take to go out and start selling these products yourself. With that being said, let's jump straight into product number one. So product number one, I'm quite excited to show you about. If you've been following the channel, you'll know that I play golf quite a lot. I love the sport. It's from a company called Battle Royale Golf. This particular post went live in October 5th of 2022. So it's been selling for quite some time, which is a great sign. The best products, in my opinion, are those ones that you can sell all year round and milk for as long as possible, and they're not going to drop in and out of popularity. This particular post, then they are running this in a few different types of posts. This is actually one of the modest performers. However, I wanted to show you this particular one because of what the people are saying in the comments section. So this one has 2.6 thousand reactions, 1.8 thousand comments, and 2.1 million views. I think it's pretty safe to say it's bringing a return, it's making the money. People don't tend to pay for an ad long enough for it to get that level of viewership unless it's making the money. However, the proof is in the comments. What we are looking for is hardcore evidence. People are buying this product and they're happy with the product as well. So Rob says, I look forward to both loving and hating this game with a passion when you get it. So that would indicate somebody has ordered this. Tracy says, we have this, it's great fun. There's another person who's ordered this product. Paul Franklin says it looks great, um, but doesn't go to America. The company has got in contact with him, says they ship worldwide. John Ritchie going to get me one of these. So there's intent to buy the product. Nat says he absolutely loves this game, just wishes the mat was a bit bigger. So there's another person who's bought this product. Andrew says, I put it up on the wall and the stairs works great. And the missus love it. There's another person that's bought this product. Bev says, so three hours ago, ignore the weeks and weeks and weeks you've seen on the previous comments. I'll show you the newest comments in a second so you can see this is working right now. That is one of the most important things about this series is every single I product I show you will be working right now. I will never show you outdated and past products. So Bev says, I have tried buying these products, but get as far as blah, 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 blah. Basically, the most important thing we take away from a comment like this is there's another person who's wanted to buy this product. So I think it's pretty fair to say that people love this product, people are buying this product, and therefore it must be a profitable one. That being said, what product are we talking about? So let's go ahead and watch the actual ad creative itself. So what we can see is two teams, two friends most likely having fun in their back garden. Um, what's really good about this is you can buy a little mat or it comes with a little mat to chip off of. So regardless of whether you have grass or a patio, um, this thing is usable, which is great because then it accommodates for pretty much everyone. And as you can see, you chip the ball to try and land it as close as you can to the pin, to the flag. And the closer you get to it, depending on where your ball lands, depends on how many points you get. Another thing you may have noticed is, if I just pause it right there, Battle Royale Golf matches the name of the store. And this, as you can see, is custom imagery. You won't find this imagery or this video content, I should say, on a supplier's listing. So they've gone to the extent, let's get rid of that awful video. They've gone to the extent of actually branding the product to set themselves apart from any competition. If me or you want to go out there and sell to the same level as these guys it's going to take a lot of time and it's going to take a lot of money and ultimately that is how you become successful with drop shipping you drop ship a white label product to validate the idea works once you've validated that the idea works you then progress from drop shipping onto branding the product stocking the product and ultimately offering a better service and becoming quote unquote a real business so we saw the most relevant comments let's just jump back into it and go for newest six minutes ago three hours let's open this up Three hours, six hours, 23 hours, 18 hours, 20 hours, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. You get the gist. There's a significant amount of people commenting on this very recently, which would indicate they're spending um, a pretty decent amount of money, a pretty decent amount of budget um, on running this as an ad, which is a great sign to see. It obviously proves that it's active and working right now. Let's jump onto the website then because it's not traditional or far from a textbook kind of layout. They have this really massive kind of add, add to cart button. And um, rather than a Shopify store, it actually reminds me of some sort of like click funnels landing page. Um, however, just to confirm, if I open up my Koala Inspector, and um, we can see it is a Shopify store, and the theme they're using is called 
refresh. As we scroll down through the page then, you'll notice that nothing, as I've already said, is kind of typical. Um, they have lots and lots of imagery of lots and lots of different customers um, using the product in different settings and different locations. There's a heavy emphasis on that kind of social aspect um, and that social proof aspect by showing that there's lots of people who have bought this product and using it and happy in it and people using it indoors, outdoors. It does a really good job of accommodating no matter who's going to come across their ad, there will be something for everyone with this product. What's really good to see as well is even in their reviews, in their photo reviews, the mat being displayed has indeed got their logo on as well. What you'll see some companies do is all of the imagery on their store will show the logo on the actual products. But then when you go down into looks reviews or whatever review the app they're using, it's just imported images from their supplier. So it's not actually a branded product that the consumer receives. They just give off that impression. So if we go back up, they are selling the products for £65. By all means, not a cheap product. They have a nice upsell offer here to um, bump up the amount of golf balls it comes with. But for all intensive purposes, we're going to work on £65. If we jump onto AliExpress, obviously we're not going to be able to find the exact same products because they've private labeled it. However, as we can see, there's quite a few similar ones in the ballpark region of sort of 20 to 25 pounds. Given my experience sourcing products in higher quantities from suppliers of Alibaba and getting it shipped to the UK, I would probably ballpark this product in and around sort of 15 pounds per unit delivered to the UK. So then on top of that, they then have to pick pack and dispatch to their customers. One thing I didn't actually go over or point out was this. So it delivers in three to five days, USA to UK. So they're obviously working with some form of a 3PL that has a warehouse in both of these locations. So working on sort of 15, 20 pounds um, delivered to their customers all in, I would say they're making a very healthy profit margin of at least 35, if not closer to 40 pounds per unit, which of course allows them plenty of flexibility with their paid marketing. Moving on to the other end of the scale, we have a cheaper product. This is from a company called Toddler. I featured them last week with a different product. They sell different baby related items. Baby niches is probably one of the strongest niches on Facebook because the typical average user of Facebook tends to be sort of 45, 50 plus in and around the age range where they start becoming grandparents. So they're going to be the sorts of people that watch a video like this and say, oh, this is going to be handy for my son or daughter when they have their kids. Um, I'm going to buy them one of these. So like I mentioned, companies called Toddler, if you want to check them out, um, December 23rd of 2022. So it's been going for a few months now, 2.4 thousand reactions, 3.4 thousand comments and 1.1 million views let's jump down into the comment section and see what people are saying so kelly says she loves hers there's somebody who has bought one and this person here says this is so helpful have one for my baby another person that's bought one carly says her uncle got her this another person that's bought one this person i love mine jasmine literally the best use it for herself as well another person janelle my daughter is a wild one but even if she moves, this nail trimmer won't cut her. So thank you. I love this. Another person, Carolyn, I love this. I just use my DeWalt sander. Works great. There's always jokers in the comment section saying things like this. But you get the gist. As we move down, we can see just purchased. There's more. Well, there's loads of people, I should say, that have bought this car. Another person, I love mine, 14 weeks ago. That being said, let's jump into the newest and just double check with ourselves. So 25 minutes, 29 minutes, 39, one hour one day, four hours, five hours, six hours, six hours, six hours, seven hours, a significant amount of comments all within the last um, 10 or 11 hours or so. So it goes without saying, they must be spending a lot of money to reach a lot of people to get this amount of comments in such a short period. That being said, then what product is it that we're talking about? So let's play the ad. It's only eight seconds long, so blink and you'll miss it. You can see basically what it is, is a nail file. It has a cheesy music over the background in case you can't hear that. I'm guessing because the actual product itself makes a noise, so they don't want to advertise that noise to risk putting customers off. But nonetheless, we can see a pretty effective product. Um, and judging by the comments from people, a very safe product as well. Let's jump onto their Shopify store then. So we're hit with a 10% off your order, two options. We can go yes, name and email address to unlock it, a very common strategy. Um, not a typical kind of textbook store. They haven't gone for a white background. They've gone for like soft pass 
pastel colours, which is obviously in keeping with the whole baby theme. So they have different colours, blue and pink. Um, that's a nice touch actually with the different backgrounds that changes to match. You can offer a two pack for no cost saving at all. So I'm not quite sure about that, but it must be converting. Otherwise, why would they have it on there? It's something I do with a lot of my cheaper products actually to try and bump up that average order value. They have this form of scarcity or social proof. So 88 people are currently looking at this product. Not sure if you noticed that, but well, it's just changed again to 89. So it kind of gives off the impression there's a lot of people looking at it. Um, you can install apps like this for five, six dollars a month. Um, if you want to put that sort of thing on your own store, limited stuff available so some form of scarcity and then as we move down it becomes more textbook now so heading little paragraph they've got some icons and a gif um, heading little paragraph and then actually into some reviews some different sections just showing um, different aspects of the products so worry-free trimming technology hassle-free discrete trimming six grinding heads for each need so kind of different adaptability so it does actually come with some adult attachments as well and then it's got some instructions on how you actually use it and how it's powered and um, that sort of thing. Some recommended products, FAQ, um, and that is it for its product page. If I'm not mistaken, they don't have an actual reviews section unless I missed that last time. We can also see the product in the images isn't branding. Let's open up some of these, but it is extensive. So 99 reviews that gives off a very healthy impression of it being an established and legitimate business. The product itself isn't actually branded. So if I were these guys, I know they sell quite a few products quite successfully. They've definitely been around for a while. If I was them, I'd consider private labeling them, developing the product a little bit further and making it more unique and original to their, to their own brand. Let's jump onto AliExpress then and see what we can find on here. So there's lots and lots of different suppliers. This is the exact same product, the exact same kit um, for five pounds. We saw a toddler was selling it for 20 pounds or two for 40 pounds. So like I said, they're relying on people buying a couple of these things to try and bump up their average order value to pay for their ads. There's a couple of different variations as well. They have this like rounder one, which you can get for mega, mega cheap. So I think it's safe to say from what we've seen in terms of product costs that they're looking at in and around sort of 15 pounds profit if somebody orders one of these things the second a customer buys two of these things that bumps up to more like um, 25 25 and even closer to 30 pounds and that'll be where they're making their money and with that being said then guys that pretty much wraps up um, Facebook ad Friday week 32 if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe so you can tune in next week well I'll have another two great products to show you and as always I'll show you the product I'll show you the creative I'll show you the store and I will show you where to source those products from as well. Any questions at all on anything to help you get started on either of these products, just leave a comment down below. I read every single one, so I will see it and I will um, definitely get back to you. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out my free training. I've just updated it and vastly improved it. It leaves no stone unturned, takes you through my proven four step select source build launch process for launching your product and profiting from drop shipping in 21 days. So make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching guys have an awesome weekend and i'll see you in the next video on monday cheers